Hey guys, so because everyone's bored uh, because of the coronavirus, I'm deciding to do something called Sunny. So I'm going to be reading a little bit of this book every time I film a video. And I might not read a full chapter, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. <clears throat> Dork Diaries number 14, Tales from a Not-So-Best Friend Forever by Rachel and Renee Russell. Tuesday, July 1st. I'm going to have the most exciting summer ever. Squee! I was in my school's talent show last fall, and the judge was Trevor Chase, a music producer who works with all the biggest pop stars. He's a graduate of my school, Country Day, West Church Country Day. And get this, he actually selected me and my group to be the opening act for the Bad Boys, a world-famous boy band. We'll be joining them on their national tour for one month. It's a dream come true! Any time now, Trevor Chase will be calling me to confirm our spot on the show. Tour. So I have my cell phone here right next to me while I'm writing in my... Where's my cell phone? Hey, what the... OMG, where's my cell phone? It disappeared. This is what happened next. Brianna? Hello, you're not Princess Sugar Plum. Sorry, dude. Wrong number. OMG, please give me the phone. That's a super important call. No, I need to, like, talk to Princess Sugar Plum. Hand over my phone right now. Brianna, come back here with my phone. No! Okay, this is really bad. I can't believe I actually missed Trevor's call. By the time I got my phone back from Vienna, he had hung up. Trevor wants to set up a meeting with the members of my band and our parents to review the tour, schedule, and sign contracts ASAP. But thanks to my bratty sister, Brianna, he'll never call back because he probably thinks he has the wrong number. OMG, I had the most horrible thought. What if Trevor replaces us with another band as the opening act? This could not be happening to me. I was hoping it was just another really bad nightmare. And any minute, I would wake up in my bed and it would be all over. But then I realized I was totally overreacting. I needed to remain cool and calm. Handle this problem like a mature young adult. I hurried back to my bedroom with my phone. Only this time I locked the door so Brianna wouldn't attempt to sneak in my room and totally destroy my life. Okay. Then I made a brilliant plan to fix everything, including a backup plan B, an emergency plan C. Step one, call Trevor Chase, explain that I just missed his call, and let him know how super excited my band is about the upcoming tour. Step two, pretend I don't know anything whatsoever about the crazy maniac who hang up on him. Problem solved. I took a deep breath, gripped my phone, and nervously dialed his number. Hello, this is Trevor Chase. I'm not available right now, and I'm out of the office on vacation. Please leave a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can return. Thanks. No problem. Now it's just time to implement my plan B. Just leave a dial at a message. Beep, beep. I'm sorry about this voicemail. This current mailbox is currently full. Please try again later. Goodbye. No problem. Now it's time to implement my emergency plan C. Have a total meltdown and ask that deep philosophical question young people have struggled to answer since the beginning of the time. Why is my life a bucket of puke? <laughs> okay, guys, so since I didn't film yesterday and on Friday, I'm going to be doing two more videos on this, and I'm going to probably finish this chapter, so please make sure you stay tuned for the next two videos, and yeah, there's probably going to be pen palling too.